We did it y'all, 30 days of Plan April, woo! Hey guys, it's your girl Becky and we have finished another sketchbook so it is time for us to do a sketchbook tour. Feels like it hasn't been that long ago since we did a tour of my tiny sketchbook. Now because of Plan April, we've been sketching a lot on this tiny book so we're going to flip through it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm showing my face for the first time on this channel and this is largely because there is still a mask mandate that we have to use here in Hong Kong. No exceptions, the only place where I can kind of take it off it's actually just my home so this is basically the only place where you can see me without anything covering my face and I first want to preface this by saying that I actually didn't finish this sketchbook so there's about two pages left here at the end that still needs to be filled up but the reality is I am a little bit fed up with sketching on this just mainly because I filled in so much of this sketchbook with plan April sketching so out of this whole book this much is done in April this much is done between between February and March so we've actually sketched quite a lot in the sketchbook although I love this little one it's actually the sticker right here it's super cute I'm just seeing the sketchbook reminds me that I need to do a sketch every single day even though I learned a lot from Plan April I'm just really really done with it for a while and I want to take like a short break from sketching in a tiny sketchbook like this so I am just going to end this book right here we're going to flip through it there's quite a lot of pages actually it does say that there is 46 pages which because I sketch across both so I guess maybe around 23 I mm, I don't know I can't math do I want to count okay let me count one two one two three four five six seven eight I don't know guys there's just a lot of sketches I really don't want to do the math right now it's been a journey. I started the sketchbook when I started this YouTube channel. So it's really interesting to look back on it because a lot of the stuff that I drew here, I actually have footage of and I have like accurate memories of it. It's documented on YouTube. So it's going to be really interesting to look back and it's just a whole interactive storybook. I'm pretty sold on doing sketchbook tours now because of that. So what we're going to do similar to the previous one is we're going to flip through everything and then we will look at the sketches one by one and maybe I can talk about it a little bit. My perfect date starts in a small cafe. There's hearts everywhere cause it's Valentine's Day. We order up waffles then share the whole plate. Sit by the window and start to debate. There's nobody else I'd rather spend my every day with I think it's sweet, she sometimes winks when she laughs I like the way she dances barefoot in the grass Yeah, we get along alright Cause I've been dating me my whole life Afternoon sun starts to peek through the clouds Take the back streets to avoid the crowds. Walls over all the sketches here are done with this tiny toolkit. So this is just my art toolkit. My tools haven't changed. It's still the same water brush. It's the same tiny tip. My trusty Kaweco pen. Got my trusty little watercolors, which I have to admit is my favorite part of the kit. So it's just this big. I have really tiny hands, so it looks big here. So if you have normal size hands, this is going to look really tiny. I hardly ever clean the palette. Yeah, so let's get on with the tour. All right, let's go through the sketch one by one. This is what I've started to do with my sketchbooks is I just put the banner or the leaf of the book right here so I can remember the sketchbook's properties and reference it when I need to. This is a light wash sketchbook, so it doesn't handle a lot of the heavier paint. So in this few bits the sketchbook does give away if you like rub at it really roughly but then again it doesn't even come off off camera and it doesn't really bother me so it's okay this is what I try to do for my first page is I put in the dates here in the bottom but I also document my palette and also do some tests just to see what the colors look like these are my pens and this is the watercolor palette this is done in a nearby park I can see these are splotches of water and I remember it was because it was drizzling that day. I couldn't sketch for that long, but I did manage to get this far, so I'm quite happy. 
This was in that same park where I tried to get some beautiful contrasting shadows from these plants onto the ground. This was when I was waiting after I got my booster shot. I had to stay in the area for about 15 minutes before I could leave just so that they can make sure that nothing went wrong with the shot. I just decided to kill that time by sketching. This is in an MTR. It's an unfinished sketch so I started from the top left and then I just continued down. This was in my office. This looks very much like a webinar kind of thing. Outlets and my trusty vertical mouse and also a recorder because I'm a reporter and I need everything to be on record. This was a rainy day near the office and this is the Apple store. I like how bright the colors turn out here. And this is a restaurant sketch. I fell in love with the contrasting of the light. I probably didn't capture that that well, but it was a really good lesson for me to always sketch the things in light first or in shadow first, depending on which one is moving and disappearing faster. This is a pen and ink sketch that I did to show what I usually do if I just have one pen with me and I don't want to use my watercolors. So how I figure out the hatching and all of that. I was waiting for a takeout from this really great dim sum restaurant in Hong Kong called Team Po Wan and I just decided to do a sketch off the front of the store. And while I was waiting for the MTR, I saw that there was a lorry here. The MTR is the train system here in Hong Kong and actually the train comes really frequently like under 10 minutes on the more in-demand lines like the central lines. The trains come every three to four minutes so there was no way I had time to sketch but I think this one was sort of an outlying line and the train comes every eight minutes so I had only enough time to do this much. This was also waiting for takeout at a Indonesian restaurant or store nearby. This is a quick sketch that I really wanted to do because I had a really busy work week. This was around the time where I felt like filming everything was putting a lot of pressure on my sketches so I just decided to abandon the camera and decided to sketch this just for myself. This was me trying to sketch a really busy scene, trying to incorporate gouache. I got the color super strong and I can see why. It's because that day was super bright. So the colors just bounce off really strong from all of these plants and structures around this place. This was in the train again. Just drew a couple that was in front of me. This is at a friend's place. And I just really liked all these little toys and I wanted to draw them all. This was when I did a ink and wash demo. So to show that I would just sketch in the main bits, block in the value with some ink wash, and also do some background details with a water brush filled with diluted ink. This is my first pineapple entry in this sketchbook. And this was the day where I realized that I wanted to completely shift all my pineapple sketches into this sketchbook instead of doing a whole cup easel and everything. Another day of Plan April. This is when I decided I would add opera into my palette because I wanted to capture that bright pinks when the flowers started to bloom. This was when I took a train all the way to sketch a tree root in just another area. And when I looked up, this was the tree that I sketched in. This was a little bit before dinner and the sun was setting and it just gave these water like a really nice glow. So I wanted to capture that. The colors were muted, a little bit dark. And this is a ferry that goes between Hong Kong and Macau. This was one of my lunches. So I am Indonesian and I really love my Indonesian food. And I didn't sketch in a lot of details because I was starving and I just decided I would leave it halfway and I was gonna eat. This was done during my lunch break at work. I'm lucky enough to work about 10 minutes walking away from a pier. And I just decided to go there and sketch the water, the bridge, and also the trees behind it. This was done also before meeting a friend. Um, as you can see, there's a pattern here. I like to find pockets of time in the day to sketch. And it's this really cute temple in Taihang. And there were like really nice trees. I only had about like 20 minutes. So this is all I got. I didn't manage to fill in the rest. But I thought this was really cute. This was also before lunch and I had I think maybe 15 minutes or something. And this is a water installation situation in front of one of the business buildings in Hong Kong, which I actually don't know what the name of it is. I probably should look it up. 
Ah, this sketch. This is when I first got bitten by mosquitoes. It was really not fun and I had to abandon the sketch halfway. This is also another mosquito situation where I went to a park. I think I wore long jeans that time, but I still have some battle scars from sketching flamingos in the middle of the city. This was when I realized I wanted to add more water into my sketches, so I went to a harbor again before lunch and I decided to catch all these teal and blue colors in my sketchbook. This is very much unfinished. So this was a sketch that I tried to do with my pen that was inked up with Urban Sienna. But then my pen dried and I didn't know. So I was desperately trying to sketch stuff in. I was testing it out in the top corner. Originally I was sketching a bubble tea shop. So I wanted to sketch all these different teas. I just couldn't make the pen work. So I just covered it all in gouache or watercolor tinted with gouache to make it more opaque. And just did a really simple sketch because I just wanted to block all these colors out. This was a sunset-ish view in my friend's place and I just wanted to capture the different of lighting. So window shadows on the wall, but I don't think I did a good job. And this was my office when one day I just didn't want to go outside for lunch and I saw this plant and I was like, huh, earth theme, plant April. It's a common sitting area and I just decided to sketch that. This is a fountain in front of a building in Hong Kong called the Exchange Square and also a statue here. This is where I got the mosquito bites where I had to abandon this. Um, it looks very unfinished but this is where we were at. Oh, I really like what's happening here though. That's really beautiful. I love the colors. And this is when I went to a dog park to sketch a bench. My partner had a kick out of this one because you would think that I would go to a dog park to sketch a dog, but nope, I'm just there to sketch a bench. And then I went around and I saw some of the um, ladies who clean up and water the plants. They tend to dry their clothes here, so I just sketched that in really quickly. And this is also another sad mosquito situation where I stood and I started drawing it in and I just decided I really couldn't. I really like how confident the strokes I had here. I'm hoping I should do more with my Fude pen. So what happened here is I replaced that Fude from this Urban Sienna and I just inked it with black because I just thought it's the simplest color to use. This was also on the train. This was actually two people. That's why the position does not make sense. You gotta do what you gotta do when people get on and off the train. Ooh, this was sketching a lit up object in a park. Also before I was meeting a friend for dinner. I remember I was going against time. I only had about 10 minutes to sketch this whole thing and I'm glad I made it. This was waiting for some friends to arrive for a Korean barbecue night. This is when I tried to catch some lavender in the sketchbook but instead I just caught color. This was one of the last days of Plan April. I remember feeling quite triumphant. I did this right after I got off work. This was a ferry. I was just really happy to catch all the details in. It looks quite stumpy. I promise it's longer than that, but I don't know. My foreshortening, is that what it's called? Where I just like squish everything closer together to get everything in perspective, but... Hey, if you've never seen the ferry, this looks like a legitimate ferry to me. I also tried more fountains. Again, also before a dinner. And this is the last sketch in this sketchbook where it's the last day and I was feeling triumphant even though I didn't really like how it turned out. But I was just so glad to finish the challenge by then and I was glad to kind of end it where I started as well. I started in that same park. My first few sketches I think was done there, the one not in the sketchbook. So it does feel full circle to end it there again. So that is a wrap on this sketchbook tour. Thank you so much you guys for following along my journey thus far. It really means a lot to be on YouTube for the past three or four months and to be able to share my journey of urban sketching with you guys regularly and also just how I've learned in the past few months. I learn a lot about video and audio so I do hope that you see a consistent increase with every single video upload. It's also been really great to just document my process of sketching a little bit more. Since last year I really love sketching around Hong Kong and just going around and sitting down plopping myself on any surface to just take out my sketchbook and document whatever's in front of me and it's just a really great feeling to be able to share this with you guys as well and to know that I have this to look back on. I just recently found this guy on YouTube called Kyo Tang and I am really really inspired by how he shoots and edits his videos so I know I'm nowhere near there yet but I know that that's where I kind of want to go towards 
and just seeing him shoot scenes in Hong Kong makes me really inspired to go out and do more. Hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour video. Comment down below, let me know what sketchbook you're currently using. I'm curious if everyone's using a tiny one like me or people are a little bit more adventurous and willing to sketch on a bigger canvas. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye and take care.